So we're back again. Right, put my pound lands on. Okay, getting old here, you know. Oh, this is a good subject. People want us to talk about uh -huh. online trolls, grumpy, snobby barbers on all of the feeds and stuff. But you're not on Facebook, are you? I don't do a lot on it, like, to be fair, like, I don't... Why don't you go on Facebook? I can't be fucking arse with it, if I'm honest. Like, I just concentrate on my shop and that's it. I'm not really bothered. And I'm not even bothered about other people's opinions. As long as I'm doing all right, I'm, I'm good. So, but I know what you, I know what you so mean. You know, like, like, I, I do um, hear it and I do, like, obviously I've seen it and stuff like that where people... So what do you think about, like, people, people trolling and, people online? Like, you know, like when people post a picture and stuff. You don't get it as much on Instagram, I don't think. You do mm. on Barbershop Connect, you do. You know, yeah. like if people put stuff oh, on. like Photoshop and stuff like that. And what do you think of Photoshop? Actually, Davey, the cheaty bastard, that's what he keeps. I actually got a, uh, I think, Barbershop, I uh, Barber Connect posted it up there before. And uh, and that's what Davey keeps putting on me thing now, just to wind us up. What? Too much Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Photoshop, you didn't even uh, put a filter on? Nah. No. Mind you do put a filter on, you put like this old vintage. I'll tell you why I do stuff though, because with the shop being so dark as well. So I'm not a photographer at all. So I've got to take about a hundred and I just hope that there's one decent one but like amongst that. Like, and then Remember I'll put the best one I think on. When people change the settings on your camera to take a picture upstairs, you go off it. Aye, you I don't know how to do I, it, I, do I you? I can't get it right. I'm shit. I've got to keep asking on. I've got to say, like, I can't take in. a picture of me work. I'll tell you what I've started doing. This is good advice for people to show that really you are a good barber, mm -hmm. is to do a video. Aye, videos, aye. Yeah, yeah. I get she right yeah. to go down like that and twist the chair. Yep. And then you sort of get all angles of the cut. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to, aye, like, show off way. your work and that'll yep. stop the trolls and that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's um, it is hard though. Like, like, because obviously, I, I'm not good with a camera at all, and I think there'll be loads of people out there in exactly the same boat. To be fair, I think now I you've got to be good at photography. You know, like you have got to be good. So you know, if I'm like scrolling through Instagram, mm -hmm. an image has to pop out to me. So like something, uh, I like beautiful images. You know, I showed you what I was going to do, and you went, I mean, "Well, Vicky, that's not bothering." Every, I'm like. But yeah, but it's like really creative and you uh, like, no, no. Well, no, everybody to their own. Like, I'm I'm just not into that side of things. Do you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. not. Like, it doesn't do now for us. Give hands across the face, not like that. Not like Stop but, giving me secrets away you know what I'm going to art. You've just given me secret away. I better do you the know, photo like, shoot before this. It doesn't do now for me. That Ollie, will you help us with a photo shoot? <laughs> I've got like images like this. <laughs> Like, no, but, it will but look everybody really nice. in the own, I know yeah. where you're coming from, but it I just love doesn't, creativity and you don't. It doesn't do but, now for me that. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you not like think on Instagram though, you just scroll and it's just haircut, haircut, haircut. Mm -hmm. And Well, some, mine's just choppers, 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 choppers. It is. Maybe it's a haircut. Choppers. It is, isn't it? Do you it? know what I mean? Well, you know choppers, right? Sonny said, uh, what my <coughs> mum said to me, Sonny said, you want to see the size of me dad's chopper? <laughs> Meaning his bike. Oh. She was like, I'm dying like, to see Ryan's chopper. I'll like chop tell you that one, like, I swear to God. The thing is, though, uh, your haircuts are lovely, but you know, I think I think what you could do different on your page is maybe, like, switch them up a little bit. Like what? But the thing is, people do come to you for classics, don't they? And you probably get I don't, more... I don't, really, I don't really post up on Instagram that much, to be perfectly honest. I actually don't. Like, I just post something. If I think there's something, like, I think, ah, oh, you know what, I'll... Because I like it, I'm not about like, I like that one, I'll pull it up. E. And that's, that, do you know what I mean? I'll tell you what's funny. So she wanted to shave his hair off. What's the, what, what's one of the first podcasts that we've, we've done called? Ah, uh, the, um, it was the. He's not going to wait. He's not going to be styling it like that, right. is he? So yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted his blonde off, right? So right. I thought, right, I'll use this as an opportunity to show the students how to scissor over comb the top for like more flawless scissor work. Mm -hmm. Rather than when they do it with the fingers, they get loads of little yeah. finger marks and lines. So I thought, right, okay then. So, you know, he's got his cows licking. He still had the blonde, right? So I started scissoring over comb to get his dark hair. Huh. So I'd done me section one, two, three on that side. And I thought, I quite like that curl. I, me and him are just so tuned into each other, me and Shay. He said, and I knew what he was going to say, and I went, I like it as well. So I over-directed back, so I left the blonde curl on. Yeah. So he's literally got like a like a suede head uh, with I the blonde when he, curl. When he came in the weekend. And we were howling, me and him, and he's like, you know what it is? Because like, I actually said, did you not watch the last podcast that I did? 
Exactly. I wore a hole in there. But it looks really good. Yeah. It looks really, really good. And talking about like being creative and stuff, I took some really cool (coughs) pictures of him and it's like, what it's done is it's, 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 I've always wanted to do it. I've been asking Ollie for a while, haven't I, Ollie? About learning how to use the camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to get into photography. It's something Mm -hmm. that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do take really cool photos. He wanted pictures of his boots. So I sort of lay on the floor. Did you see them, Ollie? And I made the boots look bigger. So I focused on the boots. So he looked like dead tall, but his boots looked massive. You see, I just wouldn't have time to do all that in the barbershop though. Do you know what I mean? What are you trying to say? Well, no, like, (laughs) well, I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's another thing. That's what I think. Like, I haven't got time to, when I've got cues out the door, and yeah, I ain't you got are time to get totally the camera right. and start thinking, right, I'm going to have a 15 minute photo shoot. Yeah, How do you it, think it, people manage to do it? It doesn't then? happen, you know, because I, I generally think that. Um, uh, oh, don't uh, hold back. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of these where they're taking like an hour or whatever, and it's not really a barber shop. Do you know what I mean? It's more yeah, of a salon, salon. So they've got the time and they can fanny about that a little bit more and this and that. Uh, yeah. This is just a walking barber shop. But you know it's what I mean? like probably just, sometimes barbers like that. that so I've got to try and create as much as I can within, pff, what, 40 minutes? Yeah. Depending on what I'm doing. Tell Do you. Know you. What I mean? Depending I, on what I've been, I, I, I've, well, obviously I'm friends with Luke Donor, but I, I think like I've been looking at his work, right? And he's very, very consistent with what he does. Mm -hmm. He's the most consistently good barber. He'll take a picture. He'll probably take like 10 pictures a day and then say some of today's work. And his work's absolutely flawless. I saw, I miss being in the barbershop, me, because Mm -hmm. I find that I don't do a lot of my own work. Mm -hmm. And that's why I sort of get creative in the academy. Like me and Shay really, really are similar characters. Mm We'll, we'll like see something and think, oh, I'll take a picture of that and that'll look good. You know, like if we've post it up and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I don't know why we're like, but I think the Academy we need to post on Instagram a lot because we want people to come from everywhere. Academy's different, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You really Academy. have to like focus on the, the area around. Just the area, that's, you? yeah. Exactly. Hashtag East I Bolden. mean, we Hashtag do get Seaburn. people from... Out the area, though, I would say we get a lot of people from out the area through Instagram. A lot. So of people, it has got its has got its perks. You know oh, what I mean? Has, like, definitely because people do look on Instagram, don't they? Obviously, do you think, the academy you're getting people from pff, and L, different Europe. countries. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's a, it's crazy. So that's that's got to be pushed like that, hasn't it? Yeah, it's do a different mean? type of well, barbershop. Can only bring in so many people from so far out, can't it? Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I mean, I do get. Um, uh, it was Chris from Northwest Barbaco. He, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, he he had a nice client guy. who moved. Up Congratulations here. on your new job, Chris. Can I just say that? Yeah. Congratulations on your new job. He's just he's education for manager for yeah, yeah. Deluxe. So awesome, eh? That's so good. I'll so get a work. It was with pretty him. awesome, to, which I've never actually. Uh, oh, did I message him? I can't remember. I don't know if I if I did. But um, again, I'm shit. I'm shit with messages, as Carl knows. I'm absolutely shit on him. But. Uh, I think um, he, he, he sent a client up and I was cutting this guy's hair and he says, oh, yeah. I normally go to Northwest Barbecue and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool and that was yeah. just through Instagram. We get that a lot though, you know, like that was cool. a lot of people. So if people say, do you know any barbers in sort of like Dundee or whatever, obviously like hard grind. Yeah. Um, and people say, do you know any barbers in London? Mm-hmm. I'm not very good with like London. I know like Frank and like I, like Luke, but I don't actually know where they're based around yeah, London. Yeah. But um, we do get a lot of people say, do you know any barbers down there? I'm working down there. So it is a good little hub oh, and a little cool. pushing it's, business it's cool around. That, like, and, yeah, it's, cool it's good, that. isn't it? 100%. Aye, it's good. Yeah. Instagram, man. It's but it, 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 it is, it is like, it's like, I think we've touched this subject before. Like you, you've got to use it and don't let it use you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I think like too many people get sucked into it. And I think a lot of people, you know, when they see these get mental photo shoots and this and that, and the, the you know, they're setting up booths in the shop and that. And I mean, what's all that about? That's not for me. Do you know what I mean? That's not for me. I think that's way too much. But everybody to their own, like, you know, like everybody to their own. But I am going to order a ring light though. Well, that's just ridiculous. Like, but that's, that's up to you, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like all this stuff and all that, what's all that? Like, I'm doing a photo shoot. Man. That, like this and that. And like, what, what, what we're looking at there? We're looking at the haircut or we're looking at a. A, a, a I'm going down a different avenue to you. I well, exactly, like creative exactly. photography. I'm not that bothered about that. Do you know what I mean? 
Like that does now for me. That. But we've got different businesses. What are you going to get out of that? Like, I don't what, know. What are you going to get out of posting that? Oh, that's lovely. What, I don't what know. You, like, I like the image I mean? myself. I just don't. You know what I mean? I think I, I think I might want to get into photography anyway. Fair you play. know how I take yeah. some cool pictures of the kids. Mm -hmm. So I often think myself, I could take pictures of people's kids. Mm -hmm. Still do my job, but do that as a hobby. Aye, but I'm talking about what we do for a living. Yeah. And then they. I think like it's starting to kind of go somewhere else. Like I'm like, what, 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 what's that all about? Like it's like Barbara's not enough now. Is that what you feel? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just see like you know, I just see stuff on on the on the Instagram. And I'm like, well, how have you how have you got time to do that? Where have you done that? What what like I haven't got time. I come in my shop seven o'clock in the morning. I don't leave till like half seven eight o'clock at night. I wouldn't have time to do that. But How do you do not people think that like that'll drive that? people to go and work in their shops or do, I don't know, is it a way to get staff? Is it a way to push no. your business? Is it even being in like I write for Barber Evo, that pushes my it business. It depends on what avenue you're going down though, doesn't it? Like with stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know I just do your everyday bloke? You know, like I you think just, that's you, why can I, if I'll, I said to Gary, yeah, Gary, can I sit you in this chair, mate, and <laughs> hire a pair of black gloves on you? Can you just pop, <laughs> pop your feet? Like, like, that's not going to happen, is it? I don't mean do you know it I mean? like that, as if I'm going to do Gary that. Gary, you're like that. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's a different game, isn't it? Oh, do you, know you what I mean? absolute pleb, man. But it I'm is, though. It is, it's different, I'm talking man. about... It's different. I'm talking it's, about, like, I like being creative. It's going to complete different, like, it's, some of it's going a complete different way. Do you know what I mean? For me personally, it's going a completely different way, which is fine. Like I'm not seeing anything to it. And well, everybody, you know, if that's what you do, that's great. I'm yeah. just. Some people I, like doing photo shoots. Um, Luca, Luca mm -hmm. Chitty, mm -hmm. he sends me some pictures of what he does. Right? I, it's dead. Luca like could be a session stylist for like women and men alike. I, like, well, that's what I'm seeing. Though. It's so a different, good. It's I, a, like that, like he sends us every day, like he's done a photo shoot, he'll send us like pictures and I'm like, wow, that mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And he wants to enter in like, well, a colour competitions and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and and make like... That's a look more like hairdressing type of thing, isn't it? Do yeah, you know but then he's got his barber shop that runs with his stuff. barbers and yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. in there, but yeah. he enjoys doing that. He's doing more enjoyable things That's what I'm saying, but everybody are the only, and I like, I personally not into that, but like... I, I, look, I, I understand it and I look at it and think, wow, like, now that's pretty, pretty creative and this and whatever. Do you know what I mean? But well, I'm not, I'm not into that sort of side of things. Do you know what I mean? It's just a barber shop. Come and get your hair cut, bit of crack. A lot of barbers who are following and, the podcast are, um, I'm going to give you some of your feedback because you probably, I haven't told you like the full extent. Well, I have, but you don't listen. Well, can I? Yeah, go on, go on. Pack it in. Right. So, um, the people who really love you on the podcasts are people who are in business. Yeah. They've got barber shops in local villages, towns. Yeah, yeah. Real barbers who just like barber you shops, what, just think do. I can't put hands on faces. I can't pout at the camera. Well, you can if you want to, like. But yeah, but like people really like you, and you know what? Come back about you. Uh -huh. Real. Well, I am. I'm not You're holding back. Real, like, but I'm but, not holding back. Um, well, I'm being, just telling you the way I am. And the way the shop is. Yeah, and, and I think a, a lot, lot of people, of people are getting book. inspired and relate to you. <clears throat> so I've had people say, this is brilliant, like Ryan, straight talk, talking, hard work, and blah, mm. blah, 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 you know? And and I think yeah, I'm no different people, to them type of people. Like, I'm just... They're the people the who are going to be sort of like following the podcasts and stuff like that. So mm. us taking lead on what they want to talk about is what we're going to have to do. Yeah, great. Even though we talk a lot of crap as well, but... Standard, huh? I can't wait to black out your face and take a picture with me hand up your face like that. Aye, uh, class. I'm going to do it. Uh, That's going to be the next one I'm going to do. Just me socks on and that like that. <laughs> <laughs> your socks. Um, Don't talk about your socks. But no, like, you're right. And it, there was a couple of people there. Um, there was one, I can't remember who it was, I think it said, and it, it always stands out and it was like, this is just what I needed to hear. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember who that was. One of my so students sorry said if, uh, that to you as well. So you was, got it, one and then was, Rachel, who was a student, yeah. her husband and her have got a barbershop. He was a barber before she came to me. Um, and yeah, I think my she, eye twitching there? Because I feel like I'm getting a gig. No. Or is it already? Well, she felt like... 
she was a little bit unsure what it was going to be like going into business. Mm-hmm. So she went into the shop and she's comparing herself to others on Instagram mm-hmm. and, comp- and, and I think she got the wrong yeah. end of the stick and she's having a bit of a hard time with our work and business. She's had, everyone has the same issue, staff and mm-hmm. you think you give people and people a job and it's not enough. And then they turn on you, whatever. And, she was having a really hard time and she says, your podcast, she sent us a lovely, lovely message. Yeah. I let you read it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said that how much you've helped her and how much she needed that at that moment in time mm-hmm. and made you re- made her realize that really it is about you and your client and building relationships. Exactly. And exactly. that's what the barbershop is. Yeah, of course you know? it is. It's been like so, that for flipping hundreds of years. Like, like you, you make relationships, you like it. That's what people need to start understanding. None of this shit that you're getting sucked into. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's all right to have a look at it and yeah. this and that, but that's not your everyday barbershop. Like, your everyday barbershop doesn't run like that, does it? You know? No, but I am. I do like creative photography and I'm going to start it. So you can call me all you like. I'm not calling you. I'm, I'm not, and I'm not calling anyway. anybody that does that. I'm just saying for your average working barbershop, it's yeah. about customer care and people coming back. And obviously you've got to do it a good job you know what I mean but a lot of it's looking after your clients and making them feel welcome and stuff like that you know which we've spoke about like yeah. that is your main I teach that heavily in the academy as thing, well you know? I do I do really really push that um, and I and, and I'm learning all the time you know like I say to the to students like please don't compare your work to others so for example we get a lot of people come in the academy right and they'll show a picture and then the student will go to me this is what they want I'm like I go to the client I'm like okay, like, we'll do our best to do that, but that is airbrushed. And ah, I'll tell yeah, you what I saw the other day, I couldn't even believe it. Mm-hmm. So it's not even airbrush or paint or spray. This person... Is that fibre shit or something? No. Put a crayon, right, here. So I work hard and I teach the students, like, grab that hair, don't chew the hairline off, try and get it as smooth and, and, and stand out, drop your fade a bit, that'll do People are drawn with a pencil or a crayon and doing this to the hair. I couldn't even believe it. So believe all imagine these... doing that on Gary the Bricklayer, man. I know. Gary the Bricklayer. Do you know what I mean? The everyday person. Two sentences, mate. I'm just going to air. I'm just going to line you up here, mate. And then they use the thing to do that. I was shocked. So what it is, is it's Rattle like... Can. Rattle can. <laughs> Rattle I saw people doing that with a credit card oh, when I was uh, away at a show oh, in Canada. Unbelievable. So I was at a show in Canada and I was looking in everyone's room who was running education. Hey, but everybody there was own, spray like... paint and beards on. Yeah, it's. Hey. But what I'm saying is Instagram reality. Instagram reality. Well, this is it, isn't it? Eh? It's giving people complexes yeah. about their yeah, work. Yeah, and then they start and... panicking and thinking, "Hey, should I be doing that? Should I be doing this?" Should no, but they that? think they can't attain. They can't get that standard of work. Yeah, I... But you can't get that standard of work because it's it's fake. Well, it's. Some of it's not fake, but I think there's a lot of preparation goes into it. Like you couldn't do that in your standing work Yeah, but you can get a hairline like, to pop out. I work really hard. I would. I spend a lot of time yeah, like yeah. edging up and shaping up and dropping things and da 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 da. And then someone just comes along with a flipping crayon. Aye. I, I actually couldn't believe it. Yeah. So it's just it's 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 unobtainable. It's Aye. it's fake. Yeah. A lot of it. And you've got to have the good hair to do it. You know, like, you can't do that. People come in here where who are losing the hair, people come in, but that's part of your job to make them feel you've good. you work and, for the individual client, haven't you? Yeah. For things to work for and the individual client. And that's what barbering's about, isn't it? Not your airbrush. Unless somebody comes in and says, can you rattle can the front of this, mate? Like, <laughs> uh, two sets. Would you do it? Huh? Would you do Why it? Why, I? I tell you what I'm enjoying now. <laughs> Champion that, mate. So I tell you what I'm enjoying now, Ryan. <laughs> Afro hair. Mightn't come off for about two months, mate, but uh, it's I'm on. Just, I'm mentioning afro hair because you can get such a sharp edge up on that. Yeah. I watch slider cuts. Do you watch them? No. Oh, I'm useless God. with names on Instagram. He's, and actually, he's I'm, so I'm good. No good. So I watched him, right? And I learned from him. So he was cool, he was brushing down, then edging up. The only then brush like... it down, edging up. Can I just say what uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the light, I swear, he's, I've, I've learned about shape on the haircuts and I've been doing a lot more afro. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Shape. How that one you posted perfect... up the other day was pretty cool. Eh? Yeah, tapers. That was nice, eye. Yeah, like I've been learning and, and I find Instagram teaches me. I yeah, love it. Yeah. I'm, I just want to mm-hmm. learn more. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Man. You just want to rattle can? No, I don't. I'm just having a laugh there. Would um, you do it? 
Would if I someone do it? paid you to do it. I do for the laugh, like, aye. Damn right, would I? Get me ruler out the lot. People use credit cards and stuff. Do they? Yeah. So yeah. that's what people want us to cover. So it was like, I think it's just being real. People really like that you are real. I like that you're real. You keep me on the ground. I'm, I, I just like creativity, but... I don't want to sound like a geek, like... Like, because I know there's a lot of creativity out there and stuff like that. I'm not like, it's, it's, how can I explain it? Like, it's just, I'm not boring or, or like that. I just, I just go with what I've always known, you know? Like, I, like I do look at stuff. Do and you I think compare that's, your work to others? So nah, that's not another really. thing. I don't compare. You, you know what it is? Do. I used to for the, oh. um, the fading techniques and stuff like that but that's the only thing that i used to do because so what advice would you give to barbers because people are looking for advice and sort of a bring back down to earth from us so what advice would you give to barbers who are comparing the work to others on instagram just keep it just looking after your clients work comparing work as in compare comparing work um a lot of it's just not real it's just just keep doing what you're doing and just would you say like doing little education days and and stuff help? Because you you touched on the subject. You work with barbers down in London and you learn a lot. Ah, is yeah, it I mean, a good thing uh, to do uh, that? Yeah, I think like little fade days and like little fade workshops. I mean, we do them sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not saying to come and Plug it. do them from us, but like, but yeah, I mean, there's millions of people doing it now. But if it if it's going to help you on certain little things like that, but just try not to get too too sucked into like the not real yeah. life side of things you know what i mean but definitely like christ <clears throat> i mean if you want to improve like styling i, I get a, a, a lot of lads wanting to especially when i've took people on like how do you get your pumps like this or how do you do this or mm. just little little things like a little day course or something or just gives you an insight of i think it keeps people you know motivated I mean? as well to do little training keeps people things motivated, uh, but yeah. um like you say, keep it real and look after your clients. In the academy, I always say, like, you know, students are going out in the industry, I always say to them, mm -hmm. and when you do that extra little bit for your client, like frame your work, that's something you can do well mm -hmm. straight away. Like frame yeah. your work, spend some time on them, fuss over them, mm -hmm. you know, like, People will overlook a little shadow and a fade that they probably uh, can't see. Yeah, yeah. If you are good with your client care and stuff like that, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so really try not to scroll on Instagram too much. We're guilty. I, I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. um, scroll too much. Look and when really concentrate on what's going on in your shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look after your clients. Getting them to come back is the greatest. Well, that's achievement. that's the main thing, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Because the at the end thing. of the day, that's what put money in your butter, till. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, one of them, isn't it? Uh huh. You were both <laughs> been guilty. I, I've looked at my, I thought, yeah, I need to up my game. Like, I've really, like, I've had a bit of a hard time because I know I can do everything. It's just sometimes the methods. So, you know, these heavy, me and you have loads of conversations. I've nailed it, by the way. So, the heaviness on the tops of the, the more croppy haircuts. Yep. So I've watched different ways and it's different techniques and me and you had a conversation and I went to work and I did it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what you said to me mm -hmm. worked. I think there's a lot of stuff that I could do. I just choose, I, like I don't, like Sam's asked us a few times and yeah, like like when she's seen us do stuff and how have you getting that heaviness and that and you do see it, you know, like they, they leave a weight line in and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not that I, I kind of do it. I just sometimes... I like me old school stuff too much. Do you know what I mean? And I don't like my my probably more my client tells more for what I do. You know what yeah. I mean? Which everybody, you know, you'll get your spices, they'll go to like a you know, somebody who's into all that kind of spicy side of things and that, you know what I mean? And like I can I know yeah, I know I could do it. Stuff. I know I could do it and I and I, and, and I do do some, do you know yeah. what I mean? Um but It's I, like we I, were talking about Tom I Baxter, mean, weren't we? Like about what he does, his clientele go to him for specifically yeah, yeah. Exactly. for that. He's unreal at colour. Yeah. I watch him, like when I coloured Sonny's, um, is something stuck in my mind, what he said, go mm -hmm. low and slow. Yeah. So instead of like putting that little bit extra heat on it in the higher peroxide, yeah. I'd done what he said and it worked. Yeah. You know, like he, and he's very, very, um, he does a lot of the cuts, like the more spicier styles. Not that you can't do classics, it's like you, but that's mm -hmm. what he loves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what he's good at. Yeah. And, um, he was, uh, he was, I've been speaking to Tom 
Um, and he said he might want to come on a podcast as That'd well. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really so we're, we're two different types of barbers, but we respect each other. I think it'd be cool to, um, to get a, a few people on here if, if uh, anybody's interested. Like, I think that would be. We've had a few people. Yeah. It's just getting people from up and down the country, think, you know, uh, when we can. Anybody who you want on here, drop us a message and we'll get some guest spots uh, going. That'd be really good. Eh? Yeah, it would be, be good. Really good. 